Hey guys, so it has been a one year exactly to the day since I got my Victorinox Deluxe Tinker and I thought <clears throat> I would do like a one year type uh, like update on it just to uh, go over what I think of it a year later. Uh, first off, for being a year old and being in my pocket <clears throat> uh, basically all day, every day, uh, and now for the last four months it's been in my pocket with another knife, a box blade, and a pin, it looks great. Like there's, I mean you can see scratches obviously, but I mean it looks good. The scales still look nice, uh, but it don't look bad. It still looks almost brand new. But since we're talking about the scales, let's go ahead and talk about the. Uh, let's talk about the tools on the scales. Let's talk about. Let's start with the, uh, the tweezers. The tweezers. These are useless. I've not done, I've not used these at all. Like, I genuinely can't think of any time I've used these this last year. Not once. They, they're just useless so far to me. Uh, I carry a pair of tweezers with me and those are so much better. And they, these just don't feel, they don't feel good at all. They feel like they'll bend easily. So, I just, I don't, I don't use them. This, though, the toothpick, I have used. This comes in handy a lot. So, I, I've used this quite often uh, to get things out of my teeth because it's a toothpick, like, obviously. So, this toothpick, great. Awesome. Very handy. Uh, let's go ahead and start, uh, let's go ahead, oh, and you can tell. So, in the first video I made of this, I will link it, it was a short and a TikTok. I said I was going to take off the little keyring thing, I did take off the keyring thing. It doesn't, it, it's just uh, useless to me. Uh, so let's start with the can opener and the little screwdriver. I have used, I don't know if I've used the actual screwdriver bit of this, but I've definitely used the actual can opener. I have used it as a can opener, surprisingly. Uh, only once, but I mean, no. Twice. I've used it twice. Uh, once because I was too lazy to get up and go into the kitchen to get a can opener. Uh, and then once was here at my new apartment. I had, I'm in my own apartment now. And I bought I don't know, I had a can, but I didn't have a can opener, so came in handy. And then we have this, the bottle opener, the screwdriver, and the wire stripper. I have not used the wire stripper. I have no reason to use a wire stripper. The bottle opener, I thought I would use a bottle opener at some point this year, but I haven't used it. I have had no reason to use a bottle opener yet. The screwdriver, I have used. I used this to get my, um, when I changed the oil out of my car, uh, there's a bolt under the car to get the, um, to drain the oil. I used that to do it. Very handy. I, I have my own screwdriver now, so I don't actually need to use that to do it. Uh, but, you know, whatever. The pliers, if I can get them out. The pliers, the little tiny itty bitty pliers. These things, I've used. Um, I've used these to grab things and pull them. Uh, I've used these as an actual like 
plier. I used these just the other day to um, tighten a bolt or whatever on a battery terminal in a car. Uh, I've used the where is it? The little if it zooms in on it kind of the little wire cutter here I use that just today uh, to cut open uh, or cut off a wire uh, a zip tie <clears throat> which yeah I could have used the scissors but whatever <laughs> so these are very handy I love these little pair of pliers and like I said in the first video Leatherman is just too big for me. I don't need a giant big pair of pliers. These little pliers are perfect. And then we have the scissors. These are incredible scissors. Like I've used these to cut string. I've cut paper. I've cut coupons. Uh, I've cut tags. I've done all kinds of things with these scissors. These are great scissors. Holy crap, if I could get a like a big pair of just these scissors, I would. These are great. Perfect, amazing, awesome scissors. Probably the best scissors I've I've ever used. And that's it for the scissors. I mean <laughs> the scissors are 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 awesome. And then we come to this little blade. I have not touched this little blade. This little blade is like it's probably as sharp as it was when I first got it I've not cut anything with this blade uh, so yeah it's probably still just as sharp as when I first got it so we're gonna go ahead and close that back because that's all that is on that then we have this blade you can see it's dirty because I use it it's still shiny but it is dirty because I, I do use it I haven't sharpened it though so it probably does need a sharpen it still feels sharp and it does still cut but it's a good blade I use it a lot to open up packages mostly but you know it's a good blade and then we'll all go on to this side here where we have the Phillips head which I've used as well. I can't think of what I've used it on, but I've used it. I used it at work before doing something. I can't remember. Actually, I've let my manager use it at work before. Uh, but yeah, it, it it's, a, it's a good screwdriver. I wish it was on like the end here, but I mean, it's whatever. And then we have, ow, and then we have this one that I didn't think I would ever use, just the hook. I've used it. I've actually used this to help untie my shoes. Yeah, shocking. This, so my Converse are very hard to untie. I don't know what it is about the shoestring specifically, but they get really tight. This works really well at getting underneath the knot and then pulling them on tight so if you have a Swiss Army knife that has a hook and you wear Converse that get really tight or just any shoe in general use this to hook under it and pull it works really well and then we have the last one the all I've not touched this like this I have no reason to use this. This is, I mean, I could probably use it as like a scraper or like another knife, but I just don't use it at all. If I sewed, maybe I, I could use it, but I mean, I don't, I don't use it all. But yeah, that's my Deluxe Tinker a year later. It's great. I highly recommend it. Uh, 
I don't think I'll get another one. Like, I have no reason to get another Victorinox. I was I was thinking of getting the uh what's it called? Cyber Tool? But after having this one for a year, I'm happy with this one. This one is great. And I highly recommend anybody to get a Swiss Army Knife. Mine, I went with the Deluxe Tinker because it had everything I thought I would need. And I'm correct. Like I said, I've used basically everything in this. But yeah, that is... That is the Vic Victorinox Deluxe Tinker a year later. But until then, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.